flap your wings. Before it gets cold and it starts to snow. Well, I gonna go, yes, I gonna go down to Mexico. Well, I'm gonna fly, 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 fly. I'm gonna fly, fly, fly down to Mexico. All right, now we're about to take a walk through Don Eddie's. Why don't you show us a place and show everybody what they're missing out of if they don't come here? You got it. It'll All be right. my pleasure. Follow, Follow me. Up. Show us what a palapa is, you so just it. stay tuned. And uh, we've got uh, 20 uh, full hookup RV slots, 10 inside the hotel area, and 10 facing the ocean. Now over here, on the left, let me start on the left. This is a charter. It's a different business, but it's in our property. It's called uh, K&M. They have three boats. Very good condition, great captains. They're all three of them are partners and they're available. Uh, the total size of our property is about six acres. Three of those consist of the hotel, the restaurant, the bar, some uh, boat storage, boat wash, and of course uh, the RV uh, park which contains. 20 RV slots with full hookups, electricity, septic tank, and uh, water. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, Don Eddie's is the place to go to. If you don't believe me, just keep watching. As you can see, we have our RV slots. Uh, I have 10 on this side, and they're inside the actual hotel area. Then I have 10 on the outside, which face the water. On the left, we have a boat wash and uh, boat storage. As far as the RV is concerned, the slots, I have uh, customers that uh, rent on a monthly basis or on a weekly basis. It is available to whatever your needs are. We have people that bring their boats and leave them here during the fishing season, head back to the States and come and fish two or two, three times a month. As you can see right now we have possibly uh, about six or seven boats. Here's one of uh, our customers that has been here around seven months. And over here is Beverly and Joe, they're out of uh, Big Bear, California and they've been here a couple years. And they're off and on a month. They'll go back for a week, two weeks, and come back. You can see they've got their own boat, they've got their RV, they've got two trucks. There's Joe over there here. Take a picture of Joe. How long have you been coming to Don Eddie's? 15 years. Wow. That's amazing. Yep, 15 years. All yep. right. Worst trip we ever had has been absolutely excellent. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. yep. All right. Well, looking forward to seeing you out there tomorrow. Okay. All right. Take care. Uh, for the RVs, we have uh, a setup as far as we have hot showers and we have a bathroom area exclusively for that. We also have washers and dryers for the clothes. On my right hand side I have rooms. There's a total of 10 rooms with two or three beds. On my left hand side we have group uh, rooms of up to six beds. 
The good thing about Don Eddy's and what I see a lot that people like, especially the ones that bring their boats, is that you can park your boat outside your room. Our area is so large that you can move your boat and just park it there. You can park your truck and you can party out right in front, out of the, uh, in front of the room. And uh, they love that. You know, they, they feel more secure with their boat right outside the room. Because they can watch them. Because they can watch them. And they can sit on their boat, drink a beer, and that's that's wonderful. That's, that's it, beautiful. It is. That is beautiful. And All right. So, I've heard a lot about the restaurant. I've actually ate from the restaurant. And what you suggested earlier oh, the was crab claws. really good. Yeah, it was. So, you know, hey, I'm going to tell you, it was really good, the crab claws. Um, but don't hear from me. This to the man himself, Don, uh, Don Eddie's son, actually. And I did want you to give them some history on that. Right. Well, the Bay of San Quintin has been around for, of course, you know, thousands of years. But as far as the fishing area, it has been receiving people for the last 60 years. It's, it's very plentiful here. Uh, the bay itself uh, is about five miles long. And the radius of fishing is around 10 miles outside the bay. You've got the 240. You've got Ben's Rock. You've got uh, San Martin Island, you've got number uh, uh, 16 degrees, you've got just areas of fish all over. It's very rare for you to come to uh, the Bay of San Quintin and this area and not catch anything. My family has owned this property for the last 15 years. Uh, my dad, Don Eddy, purchased it around uh, 15 years ago, unfortunately he passed uh, three years ago, and we kind of took it over and now it's become like a family tradition. We get a lot of people that come back because they like it so much here. Uh, it's a very old Baja style place. Uh, it's not a five star, but then again, our rooms are clean, our food is great, and our beer is cold. Oh, here's the palapa. Ah, Aaron, okay. We just built this palapa. Uh, normally people hang out in the afternoon and drink beer and listen to some music out here and enjoy the uh, the afternoon as the sun goes down. That's what I did last night. Yep, there you That's go. exactly what I did last night. And over in this area we're building a deck which uh, should be ready by next year and it will have a small bar up on top and we'll be able to see the bay. So that is for 2015. We also uh, are very famous for kayaking inside the bay. Right now we currently have two kayaks that are available, but we get people that love to kayak and fish. Wonderful. All right, then this is the famous Don Eddie's restaurant. Like I said, they got perfect crab claws. You guys got to step in and get a bite of it. Like I said, I'm gonna let Tony explain it himself. Who better than the person who's behind the, the scenes basically to explain everything but it's great food music cold beer I mean what what else can you ask for because me I'm good with the beer <laughs> <laughs> well we've got a, um, a palapa that measures about 5,000 square feet it's got uh, the bar and the restaurant inside we also have a small tackle shop in there and it has our of course our kitchen and our offices and as you can see, it's right by the bay. And uh, people enjoy sitting down and looking at the bay as the sun goes down or as it comes up. It's an excellent view. So look at that shot. Oh yeah, that's beautiful up there. I'm gonna have to get a picture of that. Yeah. So this bay uh, measures about, I think it's around five miles long. It ends over here, maybe about a mile, and it's about four or five miles going that way. So uh, it is a channel, of course, and there are a lot of areas that, that are very shallow. So you have to know what you're doing when you get out uh, and try to get out into the ocean itself. Uh, it has, this area here used to have a bridge back about a hundred years ago, and there was a little train running uh, it was owned by some English investors that were here, and uh, but it, since then, of course, it's 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 uh, disappeared. This is 
the uh, this area right here when the uh, tide goes goes out and comes back in it's the narrowest part of the bay so the water really really speeds up here and over here is of course the uh, the outside of the, the, the bar the restaurant as you can see and you have an excellent view of the bay oh yeah and ladies and gentlemen these are these are the pictures that I've been taking this is the view that we've been taking our pictures from this is a beautiful view like I said if you have not been out here and I know that this is my first time out here and I love it and I'm coming back so that's for the record and you know I want to thank Don Eddie's for the hospitality and you know thank Vangabundos for just for the whole traveling, everything is just, this is perfect.